But it's well and welcome back on to a Let's Play Yoshi Story. I'm your host, I'm Kalshmar, and well, the boat decided. This time we are not going to the Dragon Pit, we are not going to Blark the Boiler, we are also not going to be torrented, or tormented in the Torrential Maze, but instead we are going into the Jelly Pub. I don't even know why, why I did to make big fuss out of it, because you can read it in the title of the, level, the episode, is called Jelly Pipe. Alright, I guess we just take the Red Yoshi. And I guess one reason why most people pick this level is... Well, obviously because of that jelly. Look at it. It must be jelly. Slick and slimy, red and blue. Try walking on this mysterious goo. If you see a ghost in the jelly, grand pound his head or try to... But that's not even rhymed. What the fuck came? Come on. I wonder if this is really like also in the Japanese original if the English translators were just too lazy to also uh, make, make a rhyme out of that. But yeah, welcome to the jelly pub. I guess not only the jelly was a good argument for his level, but also because the music of this place is actually interesting. Then again, I have to say the music of this game is generally interesting because if you listen closely, this is basically the exact same track we had in the first in the first level, but instead it's uh, it's like I guess some sort of hip hop remix, and that's basically the gist of this game of the music in this game. Pretty much all tracks are just remix of the one. Also, these enemies, if they're blue, he won't like them, but if they're uh, if they're rosy colored, yeah, she will like them quite a lot. Also, I think these red goo, yeah, you sink a little bit deeper into the red goo. And you can also get a little bit farther by ground pining. And away. And I think this is one, also one way to fuck up the honey melon challenge if you, uh, exactly, if you don't uh, get it all in time. Oh, what does this say? Look out! If you bump into the spikes, you'll get hurt. Do your best and stay alert. That's the good old Mario spikes. I still waiting for a Mario game where it doesn't hurt you if you run into the sides of the spike because this is one thing that still annoys the living crap out of me, especially like in... I've recently started playing more Mario ROM hacks again, SNES ones, and there it's so apparent and so incredibly annoying every... whoops... every fucking time if I just walk a little bit forward and then have these huge spike mazes because ROM hackers of course like using spikes. And there's always a noise that annoys the crap out of me if I die because I touched the side of the fucking spike also. Shoot. Sure. Look at where it... Oh yeah, he's sniffing a little bit. Get away. Ugh. I hate these slime things. Oh. Huh. Oh yeah, he doesn't like them either. Also, I just did that for... Oh dear. Maybe stop trying to eat things that Yoshi doesn't like. But I could try to take the shortcut right here. And this honey melon. Yeah, this is also one of the first levels that is quite maze like. And really starts to get very disorienting if you don't know what you're doing. This is also one of the rare enemies that you just eat. Yoshi doesn't, doesn't dislike them, he doesn't like them either, he just eats them. He's like, well. Also, are we. Let's see if it's right. I think I go down to get the happy heart. I have barely, no, I barely uh, played to system at these levels, so uh, usually I'm just going to stumble around like a blind. Okay, oh, roll the coins, so I get my honey mode. So usually it's more me being disoriented. Oh, Poochie, you want to tell me there's something I can... There we go. Also one... One interesting thing about the level is if you take a look at the background, you can see like uh, Luigi and Nintendo and Zelda being like... It's like a huge fucking newspaper we have here. Let's see, it's, it shoots smartly and... oh. Damn it! Because I could swear there's the white shy guys right there. Um, I think I have to do like a detour. Oh, these boos. These boos are a pain because... But I have to say they're pretty interesting because what they do is they just mimic your exact... Uh, they do the complete opposite you do. So basically if I, if I look up, they go down. If I walk right, they go left. And 
This can really throw you off if you don't realize it. I had so much trouble as a kid because I've never, never realized it actually do that. All right, let me try and get up here again. Yeah. Because I could swear the white shy guys in that one block. Oops. Piss off. Ah, let me up. I don't want to be with those weird gloves. No? Alright, then I was completely mistaken. Or maybe it's also, it's also like that, that those white shy guys are like, that there's like a timer on them and I don't have to access it from the other side. Like some sort of uh, timer that you have to get to them in a certain amount of time. Because, for example, I was at the location of the first white shy guy and he wasn't there. Or maybe you have to already have Yoshi missing. I don't know. There we go. Now piss off. Good. I think this is the message. Right. Yeah, who's Boo? Big or small, a ghostly Boo will move the opposite direction as you. The control stick moves up and down. Moves up, down, and all around. Plan your move with great care. Stop! St suddenly, stop it with the sudden st stop of rhyming. This is kind of. I really need to start. Uh... Oh, that's already. Fourth one. See, this is this is how uh, how amazing these levels get. I have, I'm at checkpoint four, and I'm I have check checkpoint one, and now checkpoint four. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how he died, but it's good that he died. So yeah, this is all. So yeah. I don't know what I want to say, except that these levels are really mazy, and I hate these stupid ghosts. Where's the heart? I hear the heart, but the heart isn't spawning. Oh, wow, I feel completely cheated. God damn it! I want the melon. Damn it! There we go. I have the melon. Oh, for God's sake! Why did I do that? Come here, need some eggs. I like how they completely fuck up it going to my mouth. I also don't know how the Yoshi likes these spiky things, but can't eat those other things if they're blue. I don't know, I guess to each his own. Plus, we, you never know how, how they taste in the end. There we go. Let me get some more eggs. Oh, I get a third one. Oops. Beautiful. Let's see. Do I even need them? Yeah, I think I need them. Uh, hold still. Oh yeah! See, so, come on, I even make, make the melon challenge in this level. Even though I'm pretty sure I already missed some because I'm not constantly sniffing around the whole time. Uh, nothing's over here. Alright, so I move on to this place. You know, those things aren't even that bad, I have to say. Just a little bit annoyed that I constantly... Oh, there's the happy heart. Beautiful. Info I kind of don't need it. Do not ground pound. This is also to get some of the melons. You also have to put, move those boxes together, which is also kind of a pain sometimes. Especially since the tutorial only says, yeah, you can ground pound those to get, to get goodies. Which is really misleading because if you do that, the box won't respawn and you will you just lost two melons. And here I have to do the exact same. At least I think. Let's see if there's another box I can move it into, otherwise I'm just gonna smash it. God, Yoshi looks sounds like he's in. Alright, let's put it down. I really hope there is a box to move to. Because otherwise I'm going to be mad. Just do so much work for nothing. Go completely off track. Oh yeah. Alternatively, you can also push them into the goo, I think, to get a melon. Give me melon. I was about to say, give me melon. Spit it out, buddy. Hey, if I'm lucky, I'm really, I will be really getting all melons. But I guess if I won't fight them in the spot, I won't be wasting my... Uh, God, I'm already completely disoriented. Where did I come from? 
Oh, yeah, I, uh, right. I jumped all the way up here and then had the box. So I need to get down there again, and I think I need to go in this direction. Yeah, it's only getting worse, by the way. Also, I think there was a checkpoint I can use. The first one. Oh, wait, is the third one? No, oh, I think the third one is useless because it. Yeah, the third one is useless. Beautiful. So, never mind, let's go back to checkpoint four. Uh, at least the thing. At least there's no uh, kind of punishment. The only thing that can happen is that I run out of health and I have to maybe eat normal food. But that's really what I kind of like also about the Nintendo games in general is that uh, the games can be as hard as you make them to be. There is the easy challenge. For example, I could be already done with the level for I don't know how long if I just eat every single fruit there would be. But you can also make it a little bit more challenging for yourself by saying, well, I just want to get as many honey melons as possible or get all the melons, which is makes the game really, really hard. To a point where I have to say it's not really fun anymore to play. But at least for the beginning it's kind of kind of interesting. Also Oh for God's sake. Was this completely pointless that I went in and oh dear god, no. I just wasted a whole lot of time. Alright, let's I think let's go back because there was the other track. Was there a check? Yeah, I think I'm, I came from this door. So if everything is according, yes, exactly. This is the place I dropped down and then went into the door. Stop farting at me. Disgusting shit. I'm still kind of surprised that people chose this level because I personally don't like it that much. It's has a nice style, it's interesting, but it's not like it's great. It has it. Especially probably because it's also really fucking mazy. Uh, not straightforward at all. Come on, bark up my... Ah, there's the last checkpoint. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh, please don't tell me. Yeah, I think this is, leads back to the beginning of the level. Yes, it does. Thank you very much, but luckily we just activated the checkpoint. But I guess this is if you miss miss something in the very first area and didn't get the checkpoint, I guess. A giant slug. This is sl this slimy creep likes the dark. He hides away from fireworks. Yeah, this is basically the hint to defeat this giant slug. So that's a There's ah, look at that. There's something to lick. Yum. Ah, it looks like another honey melon. Honey melon. Honey, honey melon. And push it in here. And gimme. Thank you very much. I want to eat the melon. And there's the heart. There's, not, there's actually no real point to eat the heart. I guess it's because sometimes spends coins and the coins uh, give points. But otherwise. And also because they have a mega long tongue. This is still, looks so disgusting. And bigger fireworks. And yeah, I think in here. Oh, honey melon again. You know if this thing will give me five honey melons, I'll actually beat the level. And make and perfected. And yeah, this is a really easy uh, mini boss because the only thing you need to do is uh, not shoot the eyes with the X, but hit the eyes with the explosion of the egg. I think there's also in a later. I think in the fi one of the final stages, you actually have to battle two of those. And the problem, or I think one of those or two of those. And the problem is you have exactly this the right amount of X. So if you waste an egg, you're going to be screwed. But otherwise, this is just... Are you gonna move again, or are you just gonna be dead? Buddy? Did he bug out? I guess he bugged out. What? Maybe it's like an emulation issue or so? That never happened to me. He's just really petrified. Oh, well, let me quickly leave and go come back. Maybe then he... He's normal again. And I have to redo it, but yeah. Oh, he's alive and kicking again. And crawling, rather. Alright. This time, please don't uh, crap out on me, buddy. But yeah, you can see it's really st stupidly easy. Oh, wait. If, I'm, if you don't get too impatient like I do. 
There we go. Now he finally decides to die. Ah, happy heart. So I think we got... Yeah, we got all four, all, all three happy hearts. That means you're gonna, gonna be able to choose between all three levels. Uh, all four levels in, in the next episode. I'll try to get every single happy heart, but it could be that I maybe sometimes miss one. So we'll have less of a choice, but... I'll try to get all of them. So, now off to see... Oh, which, which corner of the level didn't... Did I miss? Because there isn't really much left. At least I don't... Oh, get away. Shoo. Yuck. Disgusting. I guess one thing I didn't do is go for the regular route. Let's actually do that. I guess there's, a, there's going to be a complete other area of you if I drop straight down instead of taking the shortcut to the left. So, let's do that and if... Uh, if I don't... If there's nothing else, I'm just gonna call it a day. Because, like I said, some mounds are just really stupid. Dude. For example, I just like here. Oh god, it would have been annoyed to crap out of me if there really would have been the melon. Like, hey, look at that, it's right here. Right, get out of the way. There. Stupid slime blob blocking the way. But yeah, you pretty much have to know where to find or just sniff through the whole level. But I think you won't. Uh, won't appreciate see, uh, see me sniffing through the whole level. Also, that's also a good way to uh, move slowly. Just constantly go into sniffy mode. Alright, let's see if I run down straight what happens. Oh, he even likes it when he drops on his head. How mean. Nothing here. Come on, drop buddy. Ah, uh, no. Nothing here. Alright, time to finish the level. Ugh. Oh, I tried to- I wanted to eat the banana to the left of me, then I realized- oh wait, it's part of the display. Uh, no grapes. Oh, no grapes. I wonder where I missed the five last one. Oh, wait, I have a- Ah, oh, fuck. This is the door back, idiot me. Just out of curiosity, quickly. Otherwise, I just uh, go take the checkpoint because I'm sure it's one. It's the ones I'm missing are just the like the hidden ones where I have to like stomp in a certain place. Nah, there's absolutely nothing. All right, let's drop to the end and finish the level. Banana, and what do we have for a melon? Why not? Num. Yoshi! Well, and that was the jelly pop. Sadly, didn't get all the melons, but oh well. Still a very good score. The Yoshis decided to take a shortcut through, the pi through a pipe that went underground. Below it was dark and damp, and the creatures that lived there were ugly and slimy. They were all scared, but they crawled through what could be at the other, other end. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. It's still a pity that it doesn't rhyme anymore. Well, what could come after the caverns, but not the summit, of course. If you go through an underground cave, you usually end up at top of the mountain. That's Nintendo logic. So, we got four new levels which you can, can choose, uh, choose between. Level 1 is Cloud Cruising. Level 2, The Tall Tower. Level 3 is Poochie and Nippy. And level four is called, has a very inviting name, that is Frustration. Oh, it's time for you to vote again. Level one, level two, level three, level four. Well, post your vote in, in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Yoshi's Story. I was your host, I was Kaushmar, and au revoir.